Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel of Tribonet. My name is Manoj. Today, in this video, let us learn about superlubricity. What is a superlubricity? In physics, superlubricity is a regime of motion in which friction vanishes or very nearly vanishes. Superlubricity is recently invented in term tribology, which is generally defined as the state at which the friction coefficient is low. The definition of low is not very clear, but it can be assumed that less than 0.01 to 0.001. Due to the generality of the definition, the mechanisms of superlubricity can be of various nature. Here in this figure, we can see the transition of superlubricity in 2D structure. Superlubricity, the practical relevance. Superlubricity, a regime in which the static friction between two surfaces vanishes, could improve the performance and lifetime of nano devices with moving parts like nano pumps or medical nano sensors. The effect has been absorbed with the several materials including graphene. However, superlubricity theories are difficult to test in experiments because the material parameters cannot be easily tuned. Here in this figure, we can see the lube superlubricity in carbon nanotubes. Superlubricity, the solid lubrication research. Hirano superlubricity absorbed that the friction force would drop to near nearly unmeasurable level when a solid tip was rotated to a certain angle. Later, Martin Dienwebel from Germany in 2004 showed in more controlled experiments using the atomic force microscopy on graphite surfaces clear evidence of superlubricity when two cont contacting graphite surfaces are incommensurate with each other. However, these efforts were mostly restricted to nano to micron scales. For a long time, as any surface defects or surface roughnesses would destroy the superlubricity upon scaling to larger areas. What are the challenges of superlubricity? At the nano scale, the structural superlubricity may occur if the crystal lattices of the contacting bodies are incommensurate. The formation of the nano bearings may also lead to the superlubricity state by changing the friction from sliding to rolling. Ultra low friction was reported in glycerol water mi mixture lubricated steel pairs due to the generation of easily shareable hydrogen bonded layer. Van der Waals repulsive forces were shown to be capable to lead superlubricity state between a gold AFM tip and Teflon substrate. The realization of the mentioned superlubric states typically requires very special conditions such as vacuum or materials such as graphene, diamond like carbon, etc. Therefore, translation of the superlubric state into macro scale and ordinary environment is very challenging. In this video, we understood what is superlubricity, what are the practical relevance of superlubricity, what are the solid lubrication research done in superlubricity and the challenges of superlubricity. These are the references for the information provided in this video and thank you for watching this video. To get more details on the topics related to tribology, follow us on our social media pages on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Tribonet. Also visit our website on www.tribonet.org.